Today, I'm going to talk about the death of my friend's cat and how I helped him exit the matrix. You can feel free to use any of this information for yourself once you've built up enough energetic strength in order to perform it. Three months ago, I was living at my friend's place and I got a message on my computer saying that his cat, Tam, had been run over. I asked him where he was and he told me he was in his cabin outside the house. So I went outside, the door to the cabin was wide open and there was Tam, and he looked very relaxed, he looked like he was sleeping, there was no blood, there was no sign of any external injuries, but he, he was completely dead. There was no sign of life from him whatsoever. When I remote viewed the cabin, I could see the spirit of his cat, his soul and his energy body together were trying to pour into his body. He was meowing and rather anxious. In his mind, he'd not processed that he'd just been killed, and was thinking, I need to get back into my body right now because this is not how I'm supposed to experience life. Um, I'll answer this because you may have this question. Once the cat is dead, but its soul is still there, could you theoretically restore the physical body enough for a then deceased cat to become no longer deceased and for its soul to enter its body? And the answer is yes, if you have a humongous amount of energetic strength and more than I had, uh, at that moment in time. So I'm looking at him, he's meowing, he's quite frantic, and I thought, well, that's a shame, he was a really good cat. I had done energy work on him previously. If you've not done this, you need to do this as the first step. I retrieved, I had retrieved in the past his soul energy, then I'd gone through and erased all of his soul contracts, and I'd erased all of his negative cords. Then I'd worked on his energy body, restoring that, and then I'd worked on his code body. When he died, his code body stayed in his body. That did not leave with him. What left with him was his soul and his energy body. His energy body had some damage on it from where he'd been run over. So I restored that. And I'd also, um, in the past, restored the core of his soul from any soul damage. So he had no soul damage whatsoever. Um, it's very important to do that before you have anything exit the matrix because otherwise you've just put them out and a whole lot of their energy <laughs> is still here and they'll have two choices they can either and this goes for people as well they can either come back and try and get back their soul energy it would be a bit easier for animals than for people um in the short term anyway or you can wait outside hope somebody in here wins the big energetic war and then you'd get your soul energy back um but he didn't need to worry about that i had retrieved his soul energy and restored him from soul damage prior to that. When he died, a lot of negative energy he had stayed in his physical body. That didn't come with him, which is fortunate. We have a whole lot of other layers, but most of them, at least most of them for cats, seem to stay in the physical body. He had some negative energy on him and negative entities that he'd accumulated from other people. I just took those and <laughs> sent them back. To their owners, they can have some self-responsibility and deal with things rather than pouring their negative energy onto his cat. Um, once an animal's dead, if you don't have them escape the matrix, um, if fortunately my friend didn't live near anywhere that was dark, so nothing immediately came, tried, came and tried to grab his soul energy or his energy body, he was fairly safe there. Uh, but that can happen if you just leave them alone they will usually go and reincarnate on their own. Animals will have significantly less interference. They'll usually retain a portion of their memories from their previous lives. And they'll often, it, it can depend how targeted they are, but usually they'll be able to pick and if they liked their previous owner, they can go back in and a pet that is potentially and most likely headed for that owner, they'll go into its body. Um, so once I had fully restored his energy body and cleared off other people's energy. He didn't need much work. I then, using my energetic strength, um, no, I forgot to mention, this This part is actually very important. This is the most important part, so pay attention. I had already, prior to this, put a shield around his soul area, and I believe I'd put a shield around his overall energy. But the most important thing you do before you push an animal outside of the matrix is to put a very, very strong fortified shield around them because once they get out on this, the animal has done a lot of energy training and animals' overall energy is tied significantly with their owner's energy. So if you've done quite a lot of energy work, your pets will usually be quite a lot stronger. 
Um, but even if the animal has had very little to no energy training or no energy training from the owner, if you shield them up, they will be safe when using them out. So I openly cracked through the matrix, had his energy fully shielded. I made a very strong shield, so nothing could get him, and then sent him out. And I was curious what would happen, so I watched. And I saw the Tree of Life show up, this golden tree. If you just look up Tree of Life, it looks exactly like the drawing. And I thought, oh, that's very nice. The Tree of Life has come to get him. Now, I know from previous experience, experience that the Tree of Life is actually a false overlay usually used by primates energy. So I thought, oh, that's nice. Then I'm like, Hang on, no, wait a minute. That's, <laughs> that's not a good thing. So I checked the Tree of Life energy I was seeing and immediately be it became clear that these tentacles that were coming out from the tree of life were actually primantis energy tentacles right outside of the matrix and you may have heard of this before is a primantis space station type complex and if you try to leave they will try and grab you which is why you want to have enough energetic strength when you get out for this not to be a problem or you want to at least be aware of it and go away from the tree of life and away from other traps um so I raced the tentacles coming from the space station and sent him off to an area that felt and looked much more positive. Now the shield in it had built in that it would energetically check and detect for false positive things. So we didn't just go with the first uh, false positive entity that showed up and off he went. And that's it. He's now out of the matrix. I, I mean, when I feel to his energy, I can feel he's somewhere positive and he's quite happy, but I could not tell you where at this moment. Um, and that's how sending cats or dogs or really any other animals out of the matrix uh, should be performed. And that's it, that's, that's the story. Get out.